Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Well, hello again. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is our second shopping vlog of 2021. Veganuary! <sighs> how's it how's it going, Coco? Are you coping all right? Are you managing? Uh, so, today we're going to Sainsbury's. Now, Sainsbury's is our... Go-to. Our regular... Uh, store, mm -hmm. isn't it? And we've covered Sainsbury's a lot. Do check out, by the way, the playlist for all the other shopping vlogs we've done because some of them, most of them, will still be valid, relevant. Um, we tend to cover the core items that the su supermarkets have, as well as the special festive stuff we did. In avoid the Christmas ones. Just look at the other vlogs. That makes sense. Um, and one thing it is important to note at this point is you will f note that when we do shopping vlogs, they are mainly food related, unless it's somewhere that does great uh, vegan and cruelty free personal care and cleaning products, such as the cooperative. Yes. Tesco do their own toothpaste and mouthwash marked su suitable for vegans and cruelty free original source shower gel is of course vegan and we are big champions of super drug because pretty much everything in there is vegan and cruelty free, free and you can get everything so today we're going to be focusing on food so that you can stuff your faces throughout the January and not feel like you're missing out and hopefully stick with your vegan journey beyond the January you said it all right there. Oh, sorry, I waffled then, didn't I? No, it's I? fine. It was very concise. Thanks, mister. <laughs> Here, I do love you. I love you. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see you in there. Come on! I'm not sure what this was. <laughs> Sanitise the handle. Fabulous stations here. And I'll have to stop recording now so that I can uh, do my hands. <laughs> now, please believe us when we say that this app, the Scan and Go app in Sainsbury's is, that's the floor, by the way. Look, here's the store. It's very big. And there's Jason's phone ready to scan with that button the first product and that means we just go to the till, uh, do the code at the till and it's all sorted. Let's get started. Quick tip, if you're doing Veganuary and you're doing it properly whereby you're avoiding all non-vegan products, avoid waxed fruit. Look for fruit that clearly says unwaxed. Those are the lemons we use every morning to do our uh, lemon boost ice cubes and I'll put the vlog for that up there in the corner now. Can I just also point out that even though we'll be showing you lots of great products today to help you throughout the January, this is us getting back into the whole food plant based game and we'll be making um, or you'll see later in the week. You need to follow us. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, last year, um, Sainsbury's vastly expanded their chilled um, section. Oh, I've just realised they're doing their own tofu, Jason. Super firm tofu, 150. Well, I never. And I had 300 grams. That's really good. It's still not uh, competing with Wing Yip, but it's, no. still, it's good, it's good. Yeah, it's if, organic if, if you check out our uh, Wing Yip videos, you'll see that we get 600 grams for £1.30, and it's good stuff. Anyway, we'll have one of them. Uh, so let's show you this section. Also, you can get tempe at Wing Yip for £1.99. Uh, for a much bigger bar.
here's another section. It's been a bit decimated. Hopefully, that's a lot of people doing for January. Um, show you. such an incredible amount of choice these days. Two pounds for this isn't bacon at the moment, so get rid of quick, because that won't last. Again, not everything in this little section here is vegan. Some things are vegetarian, but uh, they're all vegan and gorgeous. The, the coconut this company are great and honestly everything they do is just gorgeous. These are shockingly good. Be very careful, especially with that lemon one. Sainsbury's own lemon layered dessert, strawberry mousse and chocolate mousse and then we've got veganaise we've got glutton free pizza uh, it's just garlic bread is, yeah but is it vegan? yeah I think it says plant based 100% plant based All right. two garlic bread but I can't see a price for them oh well yeah but there you go guys if you are, uh, if you are indeed uh, gluten free um, Vitalite and uh, Naturally Vegan Spreadable, which is just like butter. If you haven't tried that stuff and you like your butter, try it. And uh, Vegan Cheeses. We've got the Greek style back in again as well. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Not very healthy, but gorgeous. Yeah, it's like um, feta, isn't yeah. it? It's like a mix between feta and gorse cheese. Beautiful crumbled into a Greek salad. I'll do the wide shot again, because I'm poncy like that. Look at it. Uh, Sainsbury's own brand short crust pastry sheets and puff pastry sheets and the blocks are vegan and pretty fabulous. And you can also get this um, aquafaba here. Uh, ignore that, free range egg whites. Um, yeah, you can get this aquafaba, but don't forget, aquafaba is the juice from a tin of beans that have been in water. So butter beans or not salted water, and uh, and you can use it for um, all kinds of things. These island delights, Jamaican style patty, the spicy vegetable one, is clearly marked suitable for vegans and 90p. About seven minutes in your air fryer, crispy pastry, spicy vegetable mix on the inside, absolutely gorgeous. 
Again, always check your labels, but you'll find that most of Sainsbury's own hummus are marked suitable for vegans. Sweet chilli, roasted beetroot, roasted red pepper and caramelised onion. And this new recipe is now 100% vegan. It wasn't at first, they put milk in it. Oh yeah! For some reason. So if you fancy trying the Marmite hummus, there you go. So you've got the smaller tubs of Natalie there and bigger tubs. Vitalite and Pure are all great for vegans. Now, Everyone's a bit miffed with Flora at the minute because they did go completely vegan and then they ended up putting buttermilk back into their Flora buttery. But, has to be said, these for a pound are really good. These are the block butters. This one, the unsalted is perfect for baking and I'm told that the salted is gorgeous for spreading. Um, they've got all the other Flora spreadables up there but don't forget the flora buttery is now no longer suitable for vegans because it clearly says blended with buttermilk. I mean, why would you? Why, flora? The entire chilled plant milk range at Sainsbury's is pretty fantastic. You'll find many, many, many breads suitable for vegans. Uh, this is our standard loaf. We've got one in at home, so we don't need to get one. Um, it's, it's gorgeous, and it's really, really healthy, and it's clearly marked. Help me, help me. <laughs> I've sanitised my hands, don't worry. Clearly marked vegan, as, <clears throat> as is the 17% one. And the sourdough. Oh, is that one Mark Vegan, Jason? Is that a vegan? Mm -hmm. That's a sourdough see. as well. Whoa. That's vegan. Look at it. We've never had it before. We haven't. We go for the healthier choice. Well, sourdough's not unhealthy. Well, I know. Uh, but you can also... Sorry. Okay. So you can also find white bread, um, obviously Mark, suitable for vegans here. Uh, and 50-50, but we are big proponents of the wholemeal bread just because it's healthy. said it before and I'll say it again. If you're in a position to do it, don't scrimp on your bread. All Sainsbury's own brand uh, wraps, so they're all 90p. White, wholemeal and sweet chilli. All marked suitable for vegans, as are the brown and white pita breads. Uh, and they're all fantastic. We use these, in fact, I'm going to get some of those wraps. We have uh, wraps uh, maybe once a week with salad and some kind of protein like jackfruit or something. And we have pita breads quite a lot as well. Because uh, scrambled tofu stuffed in pitas. Oh, Margaret, get in your gob. And of course, all of the dried pastas um, here are marked suitable for vegans. Brown, white and tri tricolore, which means three colour. Look at that for a pound. Massive bag of fusilli. Imagine all the pasta salad you can make. Do it, Brenda. Impress your nan. All of these uh, microwavable rices from Sainsbury's, except the egg fried one, 
Are my suitable for vegans? Look at them though, 45p. Pretty good. And of course, let's not forget stuff like this, but this is what we get. Uh, we get brown rice all the time. I used 125 grams for a meal for me and Jason, and that's the perfect amount. And it's clearly marked vegan, of course. Of course. It is only rice. I'll show some of this as well. Oh, guys. Fast became my favourite section. Uh, love our brown lentils. If you check out our gardener's pie, um, I'll link it up there now. It's uh, it's made with brown lentils and white and sweet potatoes and it's gorgeous. But yeah, lots of beans and tins and, you know, dried stuffs. This is the world food aisle. And flavourings and... Oh, and these um, noodles, by the way, are um, suitable for vegans. We have them occasionally. We're, no, we don't eat great all the time. Yes, we do like our snacks. Yes, leave your judgment at the door. Thank you. <laughs> this particular coconut milk here, the gold one, 59p, is clearly marked suitable for vegans. And uh, it's really, really, really good for making Baileys. Have you made your own Baileys? I'll put the recipe up there, it's fabulous. Uh, but we use it for curries and noodle dishes and all sorts. Also, these noodles are fantastic for just chucking in your wok with a few vegetables and a bit of corn or whatever. And one of these fabulous sauces, which are all marked vegan. And they're really, really, really tasty. So well worth a try. So today for us is the kind of uh, monthly top-up shop where we get a lot of um, tin stuff. So like, for example, these mushy peas, uh, which is Sainsbury's own brand, are 21 bleeding pea, Karen. Look at it. And they're gorgeous. So we always have four tins in the cupboard and we also have four tins of chopped tomatoes Hubbards again down there, 28p We have four tins of beans, four tins of spaghetti Sainsbury's own brand, marked vegan because they're handy lunches to have on toast Am I right Jay? Jay am I right? You're not wrong <laughs> So to save you searching for hours um, it does the four packs of Sainsbury's beans, which are the ones we always get because they're really cost effective. You can't see vegan on the packet, but um, it's there in text. Trust us. Trust us. We've, there it goes. We've yeah. seen it. Yeah, it's there. It's there. <laughs> um, and how much are those beans, Jay? Uh, the 30 A pound. Yeah. A pound for a four pack. And uh, you've also got Sainsbury's own four pack of spaghetti strands one pound ten that does say vegan on the pack um, and like i said these are just handy things to have in the cupboard when you want a quick lunch and you fancy some on toast for us personally it's either spaghetti beans or chopped tomatoes and the mushy peas we have with um fishless fish and chips and all sorts Bread. Helping you to live better. Now normally you'd see uh, tins of um, plain old jackfruit here but it all seems to be banana blossom today which a lot of people uh, batter and have as a fish alternative. And they also have all these Plant Pioneers ready-made uh, jackfruits, Mexican style, sweet and smoky. These cartons of tomatoes, um, where are the actual cartons of tomatoes? Oh, they're there. Oh no, it's passata. Oh, there. Italian chopped tomatoes with basil and oregano. They're fantastic for just throwing in stews and stuff and curries. So there you go. 
These are both from Sainsbury's and both clearly marked suitable for vegans. Um, but do check out if you're a wine drinker and you fancy a tipple. Many of the wines here are marked suitable for vegans, but you need to have a good look. Oh, a lovely shot. If you're a pickle lover, <laughs> Sainsbury's Sweet Pickle, 65p, and Piccalilli a pound. Um, and Sweet Piccalilli are marked suitable for vegans and are absolutely gorgeous. And just very quickly, we'll show you the jams. So almost, in fact, I think all Sainsbury's own brand jams are marked suitable for vegans. Uh, strawberry, seedless, raspberry and blackcurrant, but we always tend to go for the taste the difference uh, one. Um, the blackcurrant, which doesn't seem to be there at the moment, but thankfully we have some in at home. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Fabulous jams. Should jam on toast be a thing of yours, of course. You will find that not many stock cubes actually say suitable for vegans on them. Uh, I believe that Sainsbury's own are marked vegetarian, but by ingredients are suitable for vegans. But look at this, what they've got up here. They've got uh, vegan onion gravy with roasted garlic and thyme. Just in case you can't be bothered making your own. Uh, but also, Oh yeah, callow, be careful with callow because of course they do do beef and chicken but they do organic vegetable and I think they are marked suitable for vegans. Oh thanks camera for not going in focus, that's great of you. Uh, yeah, just check your labels guys. Um, that gravy right there is fabulous. It's something we have in the cupboard all the time. See how the labelling's quite good here. Look. Screams at you. Vegan. I'm vegan, me. I'm vegan. Vegan. Uh, quite a lot of the dressings are, so um, check them out. Because there's, a, a, you know, the cheap range, the be good to yourself range, and the taste the difference excellent range. Many of them are vegan and they're all gorgeous on salads. So we've just spotted this. <laughs> it's in the middle of, in our Sainsbury's in Oldham. It's in the middle of the main aisle uh, on one of the ends. But it's all, um, of course, plant-based stuff ready for January. It says so right there. And there's a couple of new things. We've never seen this before. This is a new Sainsbury's spicy no meat pizza, three pound. We've got one in our trolley because we're going to try it uh, along with um, a, a nice big salad. No beef mains, get the prices as well. Heard a lot of good things about those protein pieces, haven't tried them yet. But these sandwich meats are incredible. They don't last very long. That one lasts a little bit longer because they're very thin slices. Oh, well, Jason. Sainsbury's are doing their own no steak bake. Excellent. 125. And there's the coleslaw we were telling you about before. A pound. And of course the tofu. I think we've covered everything else. Yeah. Applewood vegan cheese. Vitalite block. Oh, what? oh, I've heard about that, but not tried it. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, is it? And some more uh, Leon stuff. What's that? Tomato and mascarpone sauce? Yeah. Well, that's not vegan. Oh, oh it says vegan. Oh, vegan. it is. Plant pioneers. Sorry, it's because it says mascarpone. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the uh, Leon Brazilian black bean stew type thing. Yeah, that's new. Amazing. These sausages, I know they're £3.50 for four, but my god, they make a beautiful meal with uh, mashed potatoes with black olives in, peas and pan-fried tomato. Getting them gorgeous. I know it's a random one, but Sainsbury's own tomato ketchup and brown sauce are marked suitable for vegans. We only have that ketchup now, don't we, Jay? Mm-hmm. It's great stuff. Great stuff, I tell thee. And I think there's some um, 
Leon stuff around here. Oh, it's there. That's all vegan. Leon ketchup, beetroot ketchup, chilli sauce, burger sauce, mayo and aioli. All vegan. Yes, another plant-based section with uh, snacks and sweets and uh, we are big, huge fans of Eat Real uh, chips. They're fantastic, especially when they're on offer for a pound. Get yourself a few bags. They're, a lot of people rave about these, these OG um, cakes, but we don't, <clears throat> especially at three pound. And that's on offer. I know, right? Did you know that these are now vegan? Completely vegan. You can shove them all in your face and no one will say a word. Because it harmed now. Now died. Mmm, jammy dodgers. On offer too. Also vegan. Also vegan. Be careful. You eat one and you have to eat more and more and more and more. Trust me. If you're more of a savoury than a sweet snacker, uh, these are fabulous, both of them. Um, something we have in semi-regular. Smoky bacon, roast chicken, flame grilled steak and prawn cocktail. Bloody vegan, all of them. <laughs> 150 for a 12 pack uh, at Sainsbury's. But you'll find that their prawn cocktail crisps are vegan. Um, I believe the salt and vinegar are of course the cheese and onion out because they use actual cheese. Um, but these are great snack bags. Also, if you like a sharing bag, uh, Bacon Krispies H5P, marked vegan, and onion rings. Oh, it's six bags in there. There you go. Also marked vegan. Are you a Hellman's, a Leon, or a Veganaise kind of eater? Anyway, it's 150. Should you fancy? On offer in the freezer at the moment, the Bird's Eye Green Cuisine Burgers, 125, and the Green Cuisine Meatballs. Now we've tried these with spaghetti, and they're actually really lovely. 125 at the moment. I'm not getting any because I've got two bags in my freezer at home. Also from Green Cuisine, we've got the sausages at 2 pound 50 and the bolognese mix at three pound. Well, we've never seen these in Sainsbury's before, so we're assuming they're new. Uh, Plant Pioneers No Steak Pies, 250 for four, um, which is really, really, really good. And next door, um, two battered fishless fillets for 250. And they've got uh, lasagna and a chili con carne, Ready meals. Marvellous. And their own uh, meat free meatballs, 175, which are really, really good. Really good. We tend to try everything, but we stick with things we know and love. Um, Plant Pioneers, Ultimate Burger, and Mince. Oh, and they've got uh, the Festive Wellington in there but they always have a really good uh, range of stuff here in the freezer section. Gardein, one of the most expensive items down here. We've had the strong root stuff, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, the, these? Yeah. Mm, yeah. We have um, more green cuisine. They're like, uh, you know, chicken sticks, chicken dippers. You can't hardly see that. There we go. And uh, sausage rolls. And then we we move over to the pizzas. Um, Meatless Mediterranean from Goodfellas. 
and there's usually uh, one other there but doesn't seem to be there today but there is however this in the freezer section ZZ's Rustic Pizza 450 vegan jackfruit pepperoni if you're going to treat yourself it's absolutely gorgeous and there you go two more pizzas this is Jason's favorite the saucy vegan with the stuffed crust Chicago town and there's the other good fellas the falafel pizza both well worth trying really good so ignore the damn thing there that's uh, not vegan but that is and they are and they are that's the classic Swedish glass here, so, such good ice cream. Do try it if you get the chance. And of course, we even get Ben and Jerry's these days. We don't miss out on nout. Except murder. I've already seen a couple of people asking about possible um, slim fast replacements, but you don't need them. You've got two right there. If you've overindulged over Christmas, the slim fast would be a thing you would normally use uh, i can personally vouch for both of these however when i make this one i use half a frozen banana and when i make this one i use a handful of frozen berries to just make them really thick and unctuous uh, should you fancy we haven't tried them so i can't vouch for them but many people have said they're lovely um the kettle vegan chips uh, with the bosch name all, all over them are here for 125 but look at this guy what's going on here now look at this look at this easter eggs it's only january yeah they've got a pretty good uh, free from section as well in sainsbury's uh, we don't look at it a lot because it's mainly for people who avoid gluten uh, and we don't but there's lots of stuff here to have a look at should you fancy and these are uh, Sainsbury's own cereals, blueberry wheats, apricot wheats and mini wheats. They're all 180 and they're all marked suitable for vegans and they're all actually really good. If you're a fancy pants with loads of money to spend, you can always get the Kellogg's uh, Plant Protein and Crunch, which are again marked vegan but a little bit on the pricey side at 350 However, you do you, Beryl. Nobody can tell you any different. We've decided to end this one in here. You say words, Bromley. I'll say it's been great. It's always great in Sainsbury's. We're seeing all the supermarkets uh, picking up the game. Uh, let's hope it continues beyond Veganuary, of course, but more about that in terms of our campaign. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, here, I'll say goodbye. <clears throat> Uh, hope this one's helped. Um, as we've said before, we love Sainsbury's. It's our main kind of uh, store to shop at. Um, and uh, yeah, hope this has helped. Check out all the links I've thrown up there. I know there's been plenty. Uh, we'll speak to you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Yay! Dance away. Mm -hmm.